Hello, and thank you for joining me. Washington's latest scandal has shaken the faith of many key figures within the Republican Party and throughout the nation's capital in general, with midterm elections approaching rapidly and approval rates at an astounding low, the last thing Congress needed was another scandal. Lately, Washington has played host to an endless parade of disasters, most of its own making. We as voters have been left with the following conclusions. Those currently in control are either hopelessly corrupt or hopelessly inept. In either case, the current situation is hopeless. If voters expect real change in Washington, we must first drain the tainted blood, lest it poison the new. Congress is full of old men behaving badly. As for this latest scandal, you won't learn anything new about it from me, as I care not to venture too close to the lurid details. I'll leave those to others in this profession, those who revel in such. But frankly, I doubt this will be the last scandal to break before the midterm elections. In Washington, there is always something simmering on the back burner somewhere, and rest assured where there's smoke, there's some congressman attempting to cover it up. A word to the wise. If I were a gay Republican, I would be alarmed by how easy the Republican Party was able to turn on me, like a pack of dogs, like a stampede of frightened elephants. The midterm elections are just around the corner now, so do the right thing, people. Vote often and vote loud. The free world will be listening. I am B. Thomas Cooper, and I thank you for joining me. The transcripts for this video and others by B. Thomas Cooper are available at nationalnewswire.blogspot.com.